Hey y'all, welcome to the Miko Suit Supplies YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this look using some molded bra cups. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to utilize pleats. And this is a completely patternless way to cover your molded bra cups. Um, I have a little list here to tell you all the reasons why I love this method. So. It um, allows you to have a little more creative freedom than my typical princessing pattern. As you can see, like it's a little more organic, less structured, and um, it fits into an array. I mean, a huge array of different styles. Like, this is great for raves, for festivals, for carnival, for um, the WBFF Federation. What a, oh, there's just so many. I love this look. I love this look and I'm obsessed with it and you can do so many fun, awesome things with it. So uh, let's get going. First you'll need two fabric strips. One strip is one and a half inches in width and about two inches longer than the side arm of your cup. The second strip is two inches wide and about two inches longer than the bottom edge of your cup on either side. Second, you'll need a big swatch of fabric that is larger than your molded cup. This doesn't have to be exact. What you can do is lay your cup on top of the fabric and cut a swatch that is about two to four inches longer all the way around your cup. For this method, it's not necessary to adhere to any rules regarding the degree of greatest stretch. Now that you have <clears throat> all three of your fabric pieces, the first step is to attach this large swatch of fabric to your cup. So with the right side of the fabric facing the inside of the cup, stitch the fabric and the cup together <clears throat> um, one eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch away from the cup's cleavage side edge. Laundry standards are typically an eighth of an inch from this edge, but this fabric is kind of thick, so I prefer to use a quarter of an inch away from the edge. So now you want to cut away the excess fabric. I like using these duck build um, scissors to get about an eighth of an inch away from the stitch line. So now that you have cut away your excess fabric, the next step is to flip the fabric over the cup so that it wraps smoothly and snugly around this um, cleavage side edge. So simply roll over the fabric and secure that edge with a few alligator clips. Slightly stretch the fabric over the top half of the cup, so from the apex of the cup to this top peak, slightly pull that fabric and again secure with alligator clips. Now a little side note before I begin um, creating these pleats. If you are using a fabric with 65% stretch or greater and it's thinner 
than this thick hologram nylon spandex knit, you can skip the pleating step altogether and simply just stretch and secure the fabric all the way around the cup and then stitch down. Um, I wrote a blog post and I'll link that in the description below, but the blog post talks about the fabric criteria and the cup criteria for when you can eliminate the use of darts and style lines. So take a look at that, but for now I'm going to continue on with the pleating. For this particular top, I'm going to use three pleats around the center of that bottom edge of the cup. Um, but you can do whatever you want to achieve any look that you want. So if you would rather have five small pleats along that bottom edge, go for it. Or um, you can also have pleats that originate from this corner and kind of go radially outward. Just play around and, you know, stick with whatever design speaks to you. But for now, I'm just going to use three simple pleats along that bottom edge. Um, something I didn't show before, but I have marked that center point along that bottom edge. So that's going to be my guideline for where the first pleat will go. So hold your cup and allow the um, fabric to drape. So for that first pleat, what we're going to do is find a small pinch of fabric and fold the pleat over to this, toward the center and then align its fold with that mark, that center mark that you made and then pin on the inside to secure. And repeat for the other two pleats. Um, I'm not using any exact measurements or distances away from each pleat, probably just the width of my thumb is what I used. But just keep on folding and pinning. And smooth out any excess. Okay, so we're almost done. The last thing we need to do before moving on to the binding is to sew down this bottom edge, sew down the um, arm side edge of the cup, and then trim away all the excess fabric. So after you get your pleats positioned to where you want, we are going to set it with some stitches. Sew about a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the cup. For the side edge, you want to sew um, closer than a quarter inch, so more along the lines of an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the cup. And as you sew down this side edge, slightly pull your fabric perpendicular to that side. There you have it. Now we're going to trim away all this excess fabric. Okay, so now that you have um, cut away all your excess fabric around the entire cup, take your one and a half inch strip of fabric and with right sides together, Sew that about a quarter of an inch away from the edge of the cup. 
um, and you're going to want to have at least two inches of excess fabric at the peak of the cup. flip that strip over so that it wraps snugly around that outer edge and I always secure it with alligator clips just to make sure Then we're going to stitch in the ditch. Trim away all of this excess on the back about a, an eighth of an inch away from the stitch lines. You can finish the bottom edge as a binding as well using that two inch um, piece of fabric, two inch wide piece of fabric. What I usually do is create a channel through which I can string uh, covered elastic. So I'll link the, meth I'll link the method that I use um, in the description of the video. And voila. Now you can decorate it however you'd like. Here I just used um, two three-tier draped connectors that are typically used for the hips of um, bikini bottoms, but I thought the drape looked really pretty with the pleats. Now I'd really love to hear from you. Is this something that you could see yourself making or wearing? If yes, give it a go. It's so much fun. And please feel free to share your creations with me on Instagram and Facebook. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel because I'll be showing you more ways to unleash your creativity all over some sparkly keenies. I feel like I always have resting stitch face. Know what I mean? Like...